Soldiers and leaders of Task Force Mountain, you have demonstrated extraordinary judgment, skill, and courage. Your judgment helped determine where security was needed to reinforce civil capacity and where civil capacity was needed to reinforce security. In the areas, areas needing capacity, you turned immediately to building relationships, and this has paid off. You hosted some of the largest shakes conferences, civil military conferences, business conferences, and rule of law conferences ever held in Iraq. You transferred provinces back to Iraq's control and returned historic sites like Ur to civilian authorities. You helped open the Najaf Airport, which brought trade and tourists, pilgrims and businessmen into the provinces again. Your work with Team Borla's agricultural programs was precedent setting. And perhaps more, most importantly, you supported historic and incredibly successful provincial elections. Your skill improved the capabilities of your partners, advising them, assisting them, and actively patrolling alongside them as brothers. You skillfully supported 10th IA units conducting a historic combined arms live fire, a noteworthy success for the Iraqi army, and a clear message to all that Iraq's army is the strength of its nation. You worked relentlessly with your Iraqi security counterparts and the sons of Iraq to keep enemies on the run. You have been such effective and courageous partners that a senior Sons of Iraq leader recently told you that until the last soldier leaves Iraq, he will be your right hand and watch your backs. This is quite an endorsement and one that you have earned. Your courage, your leadership, and your willingness to partner with a purpose have made a measurable difference across the expanse of your area of operations. IED, tax, IED attacks are down 67% since you assumed authority. Together with the ISF, you have taken hundreds of Iraq's enemies out of the fight, confiscated thousands of caches, and removed tens of thousands of pounds of explosives, all to make Iraq a safer place for its citizens. And you have led the way in adapting to the security environment. Before advisory and assistance brigades made their debut on PowerPoints, you had moved ahead with stability missions everywhere you found it appropriate. And you have accomplished all of this while on the move and without missing a beat. From the Baghdad belts to Basra, from Al Najaf to Al Shi, you applied the right level of effort to security, reconciliation, economic initiatives, and capacity building. You've done an amazing job and you've done your duty, and many of your fellow soldiers have given this mission their last full measure of devotion. Their efforts and your efforts have set the conditions for future success. Relish with a sober satisfaction your accomplishments here. You have done well and are leaving behind an enduring legacy of action for the good of two great countries. Please, everyone here, join me in a round of applause for the soldiers of the 10th Mountain Division and their climb to glory in Iraq. Cool. Soldiers of the 34th Infantry, the Red Bull Division, welcome to the team. General Nash, you are taking charge with incredible momentum behind you. And you are the right organization at the right time to take the relay baton while at full speed. You have worked hard, you have come a long way, and have no doubt, you are ready. And you've been part of the first, key team, first Corps team for quite a while, and it is great to have you here with us in theater. Let's uh, join me in a round of applause and welcome the Red Bull Division here to Iraq.